Chances are you haven't heard of the Families First Coronavirus Response Act or the Emergency Family and Medical Leave Expansion Act. Now, most of the dozens of business owners we spoke with never had as well. They said they have no guidance on how to implement this legislation, and they're worried that their businesses can't take one more hit during the pandemic. But as News Nation anchor Rudabay Shabazi reports, many working parents say without it, they might have to quit their jobs just to take care of their families. Chicago restaurateur Doug Dunley has a lot on his mind of late. We're in survival mode. He's already been forced to lay off some of his 400 employees and shutter two of his restaurants because of the pandemic, and he's mandated to operate at only 25% capacity. It's extremely scary right now. We've had our business is decimated. Now he's worried about new legislation that requires him to provide more paid leave to his employees because of COVID-19. It feels like we're being left out to dry. What you have in your English class? It's also been a scary time for Melissa Davenport, who makes a living at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, helping people get back on their feet. When she was laid off, she found herself needing help of her own. It was like, what do we do? Davenport is also a mom, trying to balance work and homeschooling and caring for her 12-year-old son. She says the financial relief, even at only 60% of her pay, has been her lifeline. Honestly, um, I think I would have had to left my job because um, I put my family first. It is an interesting space to be in. <laughs> Keisha Strong is the Vice President of Human Resources at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, tasked with figuring out how to implement the new paid leave for hundreds of employees like Davenport. I notified all of our employees just so that they knew that the legislation was available, what the window of time was, and to reach out to me directly if they needed assistance with applying towards the, the leave. But not everyone is notified, and the legislation can be confusing. You are entitled to receive your regular rate of pay, 80 hours, or part-time employees two-week equivalent of paid sick leave, or the applicable minimum wage at 100% if you are subject to a federal, state, or local quarantine or isolation order, have been advised by a health care provider to self-quarantine, are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 and seeking medical diagnosis. The pay is capped at $511 a day or $5,110 total over the entire sick leave period. Period. You can take additional paid sick leave at two-thirds your regular pay if you are caring for an individual who is dependent on you, who is the subject of a quarantine order by a health care provider, or caring for a child whose school or place of care is closed or child care is unavailable. Your pay is capped at $200 a day or $2,000 over a two-week period. If you are taking expanded family and medical leave to care for a child whose school or place of care is closed or child care is unavailable, you may take paid sick leave for the first two weeks or substitute vacation, personal time, or medical leave. For the following 10 weeks, you'll be paid at two-thirds your regular rate of pay. If you take paid sick leave during the first two weeks, your pay will be capped at $200 per day or $12,000 total, including both paid leave and expanded family and medical leave to care for your child whose school or daycare is closed. It's just something that we have to do as employers. We have to find a way to support the employees that are utilizing the leave. So what do employers need to know? Strong says talk to your HR department and legal counsel first. The act applies to businesses with fewer than 500 employees, but if you have fewer than 50 employees, you may be exempt. Independent contractors are not included. Government employees are covered except for the vast majority of federal government employees. Part-time employees are entitled to paid sick leave for their average work hours in a two-week period and may take expanded family and medical leave for that average for 10 weeks after that. Overtime must be included. Healthcare providers and emergency responders may be excluded. Dunley says no government entity has ever explained the new rules to him or even informed him they were in place. And while he cares about the plight of working Americans struggling to care for their families during the pandemic. It would be great if the government actually stepped up and and made it their priority instead of throwing it on the shoulders of us. As for Davenport, she's just grateful to be on the receiving end of some help. We serve the community, we're out helping, we're feeding, we're sheltering, we're doing all of that. 
for external, but to be able to receive some benefits internally is, is, is truly been a blessing. Rudy Bay Shabazi, News Nation. Here are some other things to know about this legislation. If you're home with your child because school or daycare is closed or child care is unavailable, you may be eligible for both paid sick leave and expanded family medical leave, but only for a total of 12 weeks of paid leave. After the first 10 days, you'll get two-thirds of the pay for the subsequent 10 weeks. And the act may apply even if you're teleworking. The paid leave does not apply if your employer's business is closed, if you're furloughed, or if you're collecting unemployment. So a lot to digest there, but it's important information and information a lot of people need to know. And